say to a team that performed like that? Doc Rivers said, Tate basically speaks for itself. And I thought that was the perfect answer to that question. Because as we got into yesterday in the conversation, when it comes to professional athletes, they shouldn't need a coach to motivate them. They shouldn't need a coach to put a quarter in the machine. You know, every once in a while, you need that player to get motivated. Maybe a playoff loss in that fashion. You don't need a coach to really say anything other than, did you guys watch that? Message clear? Okay, let's not do that again. That won't be allowed. That's unacceptable. So let's uh, go ahead and burn that, bury it, whatever you got to do. Cremate it, all right? Let's do that and then move on with our lives and hopefully attack game six with great, wait for it, confidence. Uh, let's hope that he didn't have to say much. And uh, there's been uh, some other people. And I give this guy credit on the national stage, Nick Wright, who came out yesterday, because uh, apparently it is, it's caught on more uh, with some other media outlets that Joel Embiid was uh, somehow greatly distracted by losing the MVP award. And I know a lot of people jumped on that yesterday. I think um, Joel Embiid knew. Like when I saw reports coming out that there were people in town, there was uh, one guy for the New York Times, there's another guy locally saying that there was going to be a presentation for the MVP trophy for Joel Embiid. There are, there are people in town from the NBA that are going to be in South Philly to present the award to Joel Embiid. And I remember thinking, we saw the voting. Joel Embiid didn't win, unfortunately. And then we saw the official voting yesterday, and it was something like 61 first-place votes for Joker and like 37 for Joel Embiid. And it's like, what, really? That's it? What the hell, man? So as you're going through all that, I'm thinking, I thought we already knew that Joel Embiid didn't win. And if we're thinking that, I'm pretty sure Joel Embiid knew he didn't win the MVP either. So that would fa make it factor in less that that was a reason why he would play to such a low standard. And I was having a conversation uh, yesterday with some people at an event I was doing, and I'll talk about it at the end of the show. But I was having a conversation with some people about Joel Embiid. And it dawned on me, and I know I saw Charles Barkley rant after Game 5 about how Joel Embiid was distracted, he was mopey, and all that stuff when it comes to the MVP award and all that. And you know what? I, I get why that would come off as that that was the body language, but I really thought about it. Joel Embiid played great for a guy with a broken face and a torn ligament in his thumb and fresh off concussion protocol. He played great for a guy coming off all of that in games three and four, but he certainly didn't play like the MVP caliber player that we have seen him play as throughout these playoffs, throughout the regular season, obviously. We didn't see him play to that level in games three and four. If Tyrese Maxey doesn't go off for 30 plus points in game three, they don't win that game. If James Harden doesn't go off for a 16-point fourth quarter and 31 points overall, they don't win game four. It wasn't Joel Embiid being incredible. It was Danny Green hitting his outside shots. It was George Z.A. coming off the bench did some shots for you. And it was Maxi or Harden going off to lead this team to those two wins in South Philly, and hopefully, yes, they do the same thing tonight in game six, but it wasn't Joel Embiid. His presence had a lot to do with that. Well, he was also in game five, and his presence really didn't do much. So when it comes to channeling confidence and trying to dredge up some confidence, the one thing Doc Rivers goes to is that they're at home because the home team has not lost in this series, and obviously the road team has not won either. So if you want to talk about confidence, that's the number one thing Doc Rivers is looking at, uh, according to him yesterday, that he's looking at for this game as to why this team should have confidence that they could bounce back against the Miami Heat, despite the fact that the Heat just beat the brakes off of them in Game 5. <laughs>